No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. Alrighty, we are back. And today we are looking at the Legacy United animated Bumblebee. Um, at least their their take on an animated Bumblebee. And you know, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I wasn't the biggest fan of animated when it came out, it did kind of grow on me. I, I will admit, I still don't care for most of its filler episodes. But uh, I mean, overall, the show wasn't. I mean, it, it, it's all right. And it's just made me appreciate this this mold a little more because, you know, funny enough, I think it was on my. Let's see when did animated come out. Um, well, around the time Animated came out, uh, the figures were already in stores, and it was my birthday, and one of my first figures from Animated that I got on my birthday was Bumblebee, so this does hold a little bit of sentimental value. Not to mention, the body kind of is shaped like a Renault Clio, which is one of my favorite cars of all time, because um, it's just so cute and compact and like fast looking, so just a little random fact I would throw in there. But, uh, yeah, car mode is really nice. It's got the, the stripe, a nice clear red siren. Very pretty looking. Um, he does come with his stingers, which uh, can combine together to make something. Or, well, uh, the, the actual stinger part, anyway. The rockets are their own separate thing, but they can, uh, you know, make the, st the full stingers as well. Which is, I feel like, the way they should have done it. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, really not much else to say about the car mode. Before we begin transformation, speaking of Bumblebee... Um, this has been bothering me for a few days now, and I felt I should make an update on it. And during my Origin Wheeljack review, I said that Bumblebee could not fit in here. If you fold the wings a certain way, he should be able to fit in here. If I can get him to fit. Um, I still don't know if I'm doing it correctly, but yeah, if you fold the wings a certain way and finagle him in there he will fit inside of Origin Wheeljack. I'm probably still not doing it correctly, but he can fit in there. Even though I mentioned it in the comments, it was bugging me enough to where I felt like I had to do it on video. And since we're talking about Bumblebee, I felt this was fitting. So, yeah, if you haven't seen my Origin Wheeljack video, go check that out. But uh, anyway, now that I'm done ranting about that, uh, let's get to the transformation. Okay, his transformation is interesting to say the least it very much reminds me of the uh the netflix bumblebee or the uh earthrise cliff jumper if any of you are familiar with that mold uh, i think it was earthrise or was it siege i don't remember but uh it kind of reminds me of those figures just a little more complicated but uh yeah you kind of just want to start prying things apart because he, he tabs in together quite um a lot I'm sure there's a better way I could have worded that, but he's got a lot of small tabs that just clip into different things, and uh, they're they're just kind of always in the way of each other. But yeah, go and pull the arms, fold those th down, and those should be done. Next, what you want to do is pull the legs down. I'm gonna go ahead and split them for now, just so that they're already uh, out of the way. Next, you want to pull the shoulders out on this assembly that they're on. All right, there we are. Yeah, it's like a very, in it's a really weird assembly. I, I, you have to be really careful though, because they're hinges, they're not um, ball joints or anything. And I have a bad habit of just rotating things, so. Go ahead and pull this uh, backpack out. There we go, fold all that out. Rotate this back like this, and there should be the backpack. And you want to keep folding the rest of this out until it clips. And you want to fold his uh, feet out, if we can get them to split. There we go, finally. Fold these panels out, like this. Uh, rotate the feet out like this, so that they're facing forward. And you wanna rotate these back, and then these should clip into the back of the leg like that. Oh, wait, there's a little panel here I probably forgot to fold out. There we go. I don't know if it does anything, but uh, it does add a little bit of uh, detail to things. Oh wait, they're backwards, that's why, okay. Fold those out like that. Then you want to fold out this entire front chest assembly. Fold this fist out. I forgot to do that um, when we were doing the hands. Um, but no biggie. At least I remembered. <laughs> oh man, this is uh, this is quite something. I'm really not a fan of these shoulders. I don't like the, the combination of just hinges and weird, um, just all these 
hinges. It just doesn't feel right to me. I, if, I feel like it, with this whole assembly would have worked better if it was just a bunch of ball joints, but all right, it, it is what it is. And then he's more or less done. Um, I don't have much else to say. Let's go ahead and give him his stingers. There we go. There's one. And here should be the other. Uh, I think they can also combine, and you can also plug them in onto the back for the jetpack look. Um, but uh, I guess we'll show that off real quickly since, I mean, I'm already going into great detail at this point. Um, but yeah, when I had that animated Bumblebee, I always had the jetpack on him. I always thought that was like the coolest thing ever. Um, go ahead and remove these. And you can just plug these in back here. Or actually, I think they're supposed to plug in back here so that they're not in the way of things. There we go. Okay. Uh, I could be wrong. They could plug into the side like that with no issue, but uh, we'll just plug them in back there. Uh, there. There's Bumblebee. I wanted to show off that other thing with the Origin wheel jack, but uh, he's a good mold. He's just a little fiddly. I don't know how to describe it. I don't like the hinges. I feel like that could break, especially because it's all clear plastic. But, uh, I mean, if you do see him and you are a fan of animated like I was when I was a kid, uh, by all means, grab him. He's a good little figure. He's fun to mess around with. Uh, just be a little careful with the shoulder assembly, but aside from that, he's a solid little mold. So, uh, until next time, you all have a good one. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!